Hello everyone, good morning. So, today we will be playing the Challenger Desert Storm. I'm sure you probably already read the title or seen the thumbnail. And yeah, Chally DS. This is going to be quite fun. I haven't played a ton with this tank, but from what I have, it's been a pleasure to play. I am going to be bringing it up to 10th rate just so that I can use the G-Links along with it because the G-Links is absolutely insane for its battle rating. This tank has a lot of depression actually, I never realized. Alright, I can sit on this angle here then. I'm going to see if anybody decides to poke their head out. Oh, that was a beautiful shot, okay. Oh, somebody literally just popped up. Gotta love the, the rendering in this game sometimes. Thanks, just appearing out of nowhere. Oh, there's a child. I'm gonna kill the child. No, I don't have enough reload to kill the child. Sad. Okay. Someone over there has an ATGM on us. That is smoke. Why can't I cannot repair because my vehicle is on fire? Sorry to that 2S38 that I just randomly smoked up. I held G like, hmm, why isn't my vehicle repairing? Wow, I wonder. I might have just gotten teammate killed. I am very sorry if I just did. Your honor, I plead oopsie daisies. Who's that? Okay, Leo. Oh, someone else popped up. It's just a Capard, it's fine. Or SPAA of some variety. Fine. See if I can... No, that bounced off his roof. He's a bit lower than I thought then. Ah, that's always fun, isn't it? Oh, well, that was a huge choke on your end. I pressed the wrong button. I forgot. I rebounded the stinger controls. He's... I was going to say he's not going to be dodging that, but, um... Whoa! -oh. This one should not, hopefully... Did it lose guidance? No, that was someone else's. There is a... Veek 40, I think? There's some sort of SBA, which is a little bit scary. But we're at the point where we're kind of getting so high up, they just might not see us. Which is what you want. I might back up after this one, actually, because I am a little bit too close. So they might have trouble pulling in. Looks like this one will be fine, except it gives us a critical hit. I'm going to fire another one. There we go. We're out of Hellfires as well now. So we're just going to head back to base. Um, two cap Netherlands is kind of weird. I'm not actually sure where to go or what to do. I usually just go on this side anyways, so I think I'm going to stick to this. Also, how are you doing today? Hope you're doing good. Hope you're having a great day. If not, I hope the next one goes better. I've been doing all right recently, a little bit up and down, but it's what it is. There we go. Gorgeous shot on the wolf pack. I actually had no idea what that was when I range found him. Or blazed him, I guess. But regardless, he vanished quite quickly. I got to be a little bit careful in this position because I got to make sure if I peek this way, they don't shoot me from there. I'm actually like thinking about ground. It's a foreign concept to me. Usually I'm just like, oh, hold W and let's go shoot. But I'm actually improving my gameplay. Wow. You're not looking at me, are you? That was a leopard. I thought, why did I think that was a T-72? Why did I go for the T-72 shot on him? Fuck. I thought I saw Commander Gunner, but it was probably Gunner Loader. Oh, we must have shot a little bit too far to the right then. By the way, the vehicle, which is usually going to be like the focal point of the video. If there's cast around the same BR, I'm going to bring it out in the video because why not? While the focal point of the video will be the tank... I'm not only going to play the tank. Like, I am going to sort of play like a bit of a normal player. Same thing if I have a lineup with it. I'm not only going to play that tank. I will take out the lineup if I have ran out of spawns. I don't want to be one of those YouTubers who just has like the one life and then leave thing because that is kind of scummy and pretty bad for game health. So I'm going to be actually trying to play like a relatively normal player would be. Really? Well, it looks like the wolf pack got lucky. Let's see if the Bradley is... Feeling like it's his lucky day. Did I just see a tank phase through the ground there on that mark? Wild. Um, he's shooting back, it looks like. We almost lost lock through the clouds, but it doesn't really matter. 
the radical didn't move and he still got beamed so i'm gonna fire one to you if the wolf pack smoke runs out i might switch it back to him and see if we can finish the job we started earlier looks like there is a lot of clouds which will be quite good for us because we can guide missiles through the clouds and also the sba will have trouble finding and locking us which is really good I've heard a lot of people talk about Schrodinger's clouds where it's like you can you can't see anything in any sort of air vehicle but then SPA have like clear line of sight on everything in the air which feels very true sometimes. Also I know I'm not really playing even well in this helicopter. I know you're supposed to stick low to the ground and then fire hellfires from behind terrain but I mean I'm just going to abuse it until they get an SPA up. Damn, what is it with Wolfpack just absorbing the rounds today? Might see if I can angle a little bit further back on him. Is he trying to shoot for us? He is. Ballsy. Guide properly. Guide properly. Yes, let's go. He just immediately smokes as soon as he sees the guided missile. That is entirely fair. No, I'm going to keep it on you. Smack. See if I can get one out on you. We're going to be dead here in a moment, but that's fine. I'm going to keep diving. Okay, that missed by a little bit, probably because of the smoke cloud. I might be dead here. Let's see if we can guide one wall in. We can. Look at that. No, whatever SPA was on to us has no missiles, which is extremely good for us. Otherwise, we would have exploded. As we are climbing up here to put the rest of their team back into the dirt, I'd like to make a quick comment on Ground RB because look at these teams, dude. One Life Warriors hurt, are hurting this mode so, so much. Like, at, at least Gaijin's helped a little bit with the backups, but even still, they're releasing so, so many top tier premiums that is genuinely starting to feel like 10.0 air RB when the A10 was like relatively new. Like when, when about the time the tram was introduced at around 10.0, you would literally only see premiums in air RB. It feels like it's the exact same thing for high tier ground at this point. And also the new stun mechanics, I'm not going to do a, a whole video on them. So let me just give my thoughts on them. They're dog shit. They shouldn't be implemented. In my opinion, they've done the same thing that they did with, with the severe damage counters kill. Like they realized there was a problem that was caused by another mechanic volumetric and in order to fix said problem instead of actually fixing it they um they added an overcomplicated new mechanic which literally nobody asked for and is going to make the game substantially worse because of it uh i don't think it should be added personally and i think a lot of people are in agreement especially the stun and screen shake effects that's most of the reason why i've had to quit playing some of the other games like um geometry dash just because i literally like i get motion sick whenever the screen shakes like i have a very weak stomach when it comes to that sort of thing and my eyes aren't great anymore so especially with like spotting tanks but like with being blinded by light tanks and stuff i don't think the mechanic should be added or at least give it give us a toggle to turn them off also, top of the team, let's go. I do actually like a ground a lot more because while I'm getting the flow with sort of recording these um, second channel videos, I've noticed that I thought... So I thought most YouTubers, whenever they had to play to get like gameplay footage, this will probably vary a ton depending on who you're watching, but I thought going into this that I was going to have to play for like two hours, two and a half hours at least to try to get enough decent footage to actually be able to like make a good video out of it. But um, for air, it's about an hour. For ground, it's about 30 to 45 minutes. And that's all you need. Like the Ramsey Gold video, I did like an hour and a half recording session and used maybe a third of it. And they were all like pretty good games too. Like I'm sure I could probably trick someone into thinking that I'm like good at ground by showing them that gameplay. Well, okay, maybe not the part that I couldn't get the lock with the guided weapons, but you know, for most of it, I think was pretty decent. I had a feeling someone was going to poke their head out there. Fortunately, he missed his shot by a little bit, so we get to capitalize on his mistake. I feel like a lot of ground just comes down to capitalizing on enemies' mistakes. Please peek out that way. No, he's not doing it. Never mind. Oh, that doesn't spoil enough of his crew. Oh, we took a horrible shot there. We're chilling. Um, please reload the round quickly. There's a light thing on its way. It's very scary. I don't like it. Thank you, team. I was about to die there. 
to be honest, I played Golden Quarry quite a bit, and I'm still quite bad at this map. Like, I'm not sure what a lot of the sight lines are, which is why I made the mistake of checking. I was going to say checking that way way too late and try to make an example out of it. Oh, he barely missed. Oh, shit, the second one. Yeah, okay. We almost got another round back off, but not quite. I've literally never seen an Aft one, Aft 09 before in game, so I had no idea where to shoot on him there. So I just took a blind shot to the middle, hoping for the best. So by the way, while I have you guys here, I would just like to reiterate a lot of this gameplay is not me trying to cherry pick the best games. Most of the time, it's going to be just the first games that I record or play, unless it's like nothing is happening and there is zero entertainment value whatsoever. But typically I can make horrible gameplay entertaining. That has been my specialty in the past, so shouldn't be too bad now. But like, I kind of want to give an honest viewpoint of what games look like. Also, that means that if I am bitching about something like the entire time in one of the games, I am just going to leave it in. So I'm going to try not to. It's going to going to create some good habits here. I've literally just been holding W and I'm pretty much just in their spawn now. I've not actually seen a single tank. Okay, well, until the child popped up, but I'm going to kill the child because no remorse. Also, I'm pretty sure they increase the rewards of killing low tier vehicles in a high tier one because... If I killed an M22 in the Charlie DS, I swear I used to get like 2k Silver Lions for like a very low reward because it was a low tier vehicle. But now I think it just gives the same one as all the regular other vehicles, which is good because it means that you should be killing children and shouldn't spare them, which is very based because rah, I hate children. In all seriousness, no fail squatting is quite cringe, so I'm glad they are putting more incentives in place for people to not do that. So... Not sure how that shot didn't kill the Puma, but German bias, I guess. Germany suffers. Uh, I didn't know we couldn't climb that. Uh oh, well, Mr. Wolfpack definitely knows where we are. Can I breach him, I wonder. Oh, piss. One just spawned in. That's entirely fair. That wasn't fair. I should. That shouldn't have happened like that. Little mouth, Gaijin moment. Oh fuck, yep. Um, that's probably game. I'll see you in the next one. Never mind, game is not over yet. We managed to get revenge on the guy from earlier. There we go. That took a minute. Honestly, I don't really care about KD. I just care about getting good kill games. So I'm happy with that. Hmm. I must have fat fingered my range find key there. Um, that's a little bit embarrassing. <laughs> I thought, I thought I range found into his lower front plate and then shot at it, but I just shot at it and missed badly. And for anyone in the comments saying don't laser range find under eight to nine hundred meters, I, I'm I'm just bad. I'm gonna do it anyways. Like I'm just not very good in general at trying to predict where my rounds are going to go. So. That's typically why I don't play low tier, because the laser rangefinder helps you out so, so much. I thought that was a little car there was a tank. Oh, no. Oh, okay, no, we're good. We're good. We're chilling. Uh, I don't really want to bait that shot there. I'm going to call Arty on him. Oh, we could do a smoke trick. I'm going to make him think that I'm doing one, and then just leave and go this way. He did the exact same thing. How did that not? Okay, we breached him. Thank fuck. Get out of here. Ow. Oh, you're right there. What does he even hit? Did he just like get a bounce off of our upper front plate or something? I'm confused. <laughs> uh, what? Go. Yeah. Oh, fuck you. Oh, yeah. Also, this is what I was talking about, about the teams collapsing. The premium. Just bad of the game. Bad of the game. Bad of the game. Premium, 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 premium. Yeah, not great. In the low tier, it's actually not that bad because a lot of people are able to get full lineups. And at least the premium tanks are, like, quite close to a lot of the other things and doesn't take too long to grind. In ground... The grind is just so bad. Like, I think a lot of the one death leaving problem could be at least partially solved by just making the grind easier for players. But Gaijin does not want to do that at all. We just accidentally tracked this bozo. Well, I'm just going to slowly kill him unless our MBT friend pushes him 
fast. Nope, he just has zero clue he's even there. He just like me, for real, for real. Zero game awareness. Oh, you. That's the 2S38, isn't it? I'm going to take great, great pleasure in this one. Oh, there we go. Nice. I had to get, <clears throat> sorry, I had to get that out of my system. And bye-bye. 292 is just one giant. Ammo rack. Not sure why none of them have spawned any sort of way to counter me yet, but um, all right, because they're all premium players and don't even have SPAA, Lamau. Strella, looks like. Okay, I thought I was going insane there for a second, but it's just Gaijin's shitty long-range rendering. Was Estrella, we got something else, it looks like. Um, I'm just going to drop this on you, and then I'm going to head back. Oh, lordy. Wait, there's a freeze knockoff? I didn't even realize. Ow! Ow! Okay, one of them finally took out an SPAA. There's no, we, there's no way we could take out a backup, right? <laughs> oh... I keep, keep fat fingering my keys. He was not paying attention. Please, please, please. Oh, that actually got fled. Oh, shit. Mm, I'm just going to keep dispensing them. And we get to s 38 What is that? Decent. Those rounds missed by a mile. And the SU-25 SU goes down at least. Yeah, of course I will have fucking SU-20. Uh, 2S38, sorry. Oh, really? One of them got a nuke? Bruh. I mean, this is going to be game. As if it wasn't already obvious enough. Yeah, it looks like one of our teammates just fed him, but oh well. All right, I don't know what's up with me and just not recording outros for whatever reason, but um, I forgot again somehow, so we're going to do a little bit of gambling as I give you the details. So the Charlie DS is incredibly fun. I was taking it up to 10.3, to and it still worked incredibly well there. It's just a very delightful, very fun tank to play overall. And um, I would recommend it if you're looking to grind out the British tree. It has a lot more of a lineup than the OES does. You're able to take out the um, Roy Cut if you want. You're able to bring out the um, the Geolinx as well, the Bishma if you have that. Overall, it's just really good. Would recommend. Probably like a 9 out of 10 if I'm being realistic. So pretty, pretty solid vehicle. Um, let me know what other tanks you want me to see me play in the comments so I can conveniently ignore them all. And um, yeah. I think I'm going to head out here, so sleep well and goodbye.